Hey everyone, Susan here. I uh, just wanted to come on tonight and um, I said I was going to start doing more videos, so here I am. And um, I just want to introduce myself to those that may not know um, me or, or know me personally or either in the group that um, I have on Facebook, which is the Lightworkers Lounge. And I'll put the link in the, the description down here um, for you, as well as my website. I am a I newly discovered within the last, oh gosh, year and a half maybe, um, that I have the capability and the ability, I think many of us do, we just maybe don't explore that, um, of communicating with higher beings. And so I am what I consider a closet channeler. I do not, um, or I haven't been able to as of yet, uh, channel fully in front of anyone so I'm like a closet channeler um, and then I'm also very clear audience so I can uh, I can hear you know hear hear speech coming through um, with my with the like the Palladian Collective for instance or Jesus or um, another one that I'm very close to is Metatron they all have a different energy and the way that they come through is through a tone or a frequency. And that frequency, I can translate into words. I can understand what they're saying. So they come through with very profound messages for us. Um, so I do share those on my group page. And um, so I'm going to start sharing a lot of them here in my videos as well. Um, with kind of, you know, my thoughts about what those are and what they're talking about. One clear message that I've gotten... I'm sorry, I'm not very comfortable at the moment. One clear message that I've gotten over the last, probably, uh, since last winter, I think, this started coming through, and Archangel Michael was one of the first ones that came through with this message, and that was to connect with the Earth's frequency, for us to engage in that energy, um, for that source energy and the Mother Earth energy to flow you know, completely through us to um, to fill us and, and to flow through us, to energize us, to connect completely. And what I've found since then, see, I was brand new at the time, so I really didn't know what he was talking about. But um, I, what I've learned is that, um, you know, the earth does have a heartbeat, basically. The earth does have a frequency that it resonates. And for us to be in line with that and the frequency of the, of source of the cosmic energies coming in, the solar energies coming in, will balance our energies in our bodies and our chakras. Um, it really does help. I personally go outside to uh, to meditate. I didn't start that at first because I didn't understand this whole thing, you know. And so what I did was I started going outside to meditate and it made a huge, huge difference. Um, so if you can connect with the Earth's energy, and you don't even have to go out and do anything fancy. You can just go out there and sit in the grass and just sit there quietly. You can do that. And you, your body will respond. You will feel the energies flowing through you. You will feel the cosmic energies coming in. You will feel the, the earth energies filling you up, prana. Um, it is a wonderful, wonderful feeling. So that's one thing that they have all been pretty much consistent with as far as um, wanting, you know, needing us to connect with that. The reason is, is because the Earth's frequency, the Earth's vibration, the Earth's um, heartbeat, basically, is spiking like we've never seen ever in any of our history, ever. And so we are moving into a new density and a new dimension, a new awareness, a new reality. And so to be in line with that, we need to make sure that we are in line with those, um, with those energies, right? So that's one... One very important uh, message that they've all come through with. And I'm going to do um, some classes, you know, as far as like beginner's meditation. If you watched some of my other videos, you saw that like my passion is to work with the new people, the new um, people coming in, the new awakened souls, the new the new ones that think they're going crazy, and I promise you're not. Um, so that's, that's really my passion. So I will be doing some beginner meditation classes and the grounding. Grounding is very important. Um, in person as well as, um, you know, on here, on, through video. 
So, uh, I had a very interesting um, message come through, I think it was today or yesterday. Um, so, the beings that I'm in pretty regular contact with, I'm an open channel, so I haven't really settled on one or or two beings. You know, I can, I can pretty much talk to or hear from anyone. So, right now, I don't know what it's going to bring in the future. Um, but the ones that I hear from are the, the Ninth Dimensional Pleiadian Collective. And it's a, it's a specific name. They, um, they are a part of that, but they are a Council of the Heart, is what they call themselves. Um, so now I'm, you know, hear from them regularly. I hear regularly from um, Ashtar's command center. Not necessarily him, but every once in a while he does come through. And um, just a wonderful, wonderful energy, wonderful being. Uh, you know, the whole, all, all of them are. They're just, they're just wonderful, wonderful guides. Um, so they came through yesterday with a pretty specific message. Uh, another one that I'm really close to is Metatron. Metatron and I are, are super close. He's like one of my main guides. And boy, you know when he's around. You know when he's coming through. Um, when I am in my closet <laughs> channeling, I can definitely, you know, feel his, um, oh, what's the right word? Maybe stern. Well, stern but loving. He's very rigid, um, kind of, you know. He's, well, you know, he does the, the whole matrix thing and the whole geometry thing. So it's like, you know, he's, he has that, um, he has that feel about him too. But you can also feel like his intense love for you. Um, but his, his energy is, is beautiful and um, love, love, love getting messages from him. Um, Jesus is another one. And he is so just, you just can feel the love from him. Uh, Palladian, same thing. Um, all, all the same, but different. Uh, Mary Magdalene and I are very close. I talk to her a lot. She comes through to me a lot. Um, there's several that I, I speak with consistently. Um, but I wanted to share with you a message that came through from the command center. And this did come from Ashtar, which is, like I said, unusual. He usually doesn't, like, pop in. It's usually, uh, you know, his people or whatever. Um, so, uh, but he did come through. And I'm going to be tacky. I know this is tacky, but I'm going to read it. Because I, I, you know, can't remember it. What I do is I keep a journal. I have journals everywhere. I have journals by my bed, I have journals in the living room, I have journals in my car, I have journals in my office, I have journals everywhere because I'll just get random downloads. Um, and if I'm meditating and I am trying to connect in a, um, you know, as a channel where they actually come through, like I said, that's only in my closet, I don't do that yet in front of people. But I do write down what, um, what, what is shared with me. Um, through everything, you know, if it's, I'm very clear audience and also very intuitive. So I'll see, um, images, I'll feel what they're feeling. Uh, I can hear certain words, um, just very connected that way. So I have journals everywhere full of messages and it's beautiful. And I'm actually, you know, almost done with my book now, which is going to have all of the, you know, those in there. So, um, and again, if you go to my Facebook page, all of my channel downloads that I've shared. Some of them are personal, so I don't share those, but the ones that are for us, for all of us, you know, I share on there under the channel topics, um, or the topics section under channel messages. So, um, this is what the, uh, Palladians, or not the Palladians, I'm sorry, Ashtar and the Command Center shared this morning. I think it was this morning. Um, so here's what he said. He didn't come through. And I, I was surprised to hear from him because I don't often hear from him. I mean, it's mostly, it's mostly the command. They'll come in and say, Hi, Susan, this is the command center. And I do ask, um, you know, who is speaking if I'm not sure. Usually I can feel who it is. But if I'm not expecting it and they just come in, then I'll ask who it is if I can't already feel who it is. Um, but they'll say it's the command center. But um, it's funny because they did come through and say, um, you know, Susan, this is the command center. And, oh, hey, how are you? You know, and then, uh, then, then Ashtar came through, and this is what he had to say. So this was August 30th, so I guess that was yesterday, maybe. Um, be true to yourself and open your hearts and your awareness to the possibilities you as a human race are capable of. Put an end to this false agenda and narrative that, has been, that you've been living and repeated over and over again. Now is the time. Now is your chance. By opening one heart at a time, this will move the collective into a state of higher vibration. 
the collective shifts, the vibration and frequency will begin to move humanity into a state of oneness. One with each other and one with a divine source. This connection as one will bring the ancient prophecy of humanity's collective freedom. All will be driven from the heart-centered motivation to oneness and pure love. The drive to live in a healthy and happy ways for your human rights as the beautiful souls that you are. Every single one of you came here for this and this time right now. The higher vibration of self will attract and bring others into the higher frequency and state of awareness. Set the example. Find ways in which to be a community of one, not separation. Go and shine the light of the one creator, the light of pure love and that of Christ consciousness. The pure love of Christ consciousness will be seen and felt by others. This power is unmistakable and it will grow quickly. This is what you all have been searching for. This is your opportunity to make the change and shift into higher consciousness in a higher state of vibration and the reality of your direct experience. You can bring humanity and the reality of Earth out of the ancient patterns you've been repeating. We are here. You are supported. Open your hearts and your soul to be synchronized to the synchronized signs of the universe and the light in which a pure love and that of your one creator. Um, so what I got out of that message was for all of us to come together as one human race, that there is no separation and there really isn't any separation. Um, and just real quick on that, that is, that is another message that I've gotten, especially from Metatron to heal the illusion of separation because separation is not real. Okay. We are never separate. We are never separate from the divine. We are never separate from them. We're not separate from each other. We are all one. So this is the message that I got from him. This is what's saying to me. Um, for us to come together and find solutions for this new earth that we are embarking on here. This new reality that we are now creating. Um, and we can do that. We absolutely can do that. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you all. Uh, look for more videos. I know it's storming outside, so... And I don't have any fancy equipment, so, you know, just excuse me. Maybe, maybe soon. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.